Hello everyone, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I am going to plan out the week in my Moxie Life daily and then plan out Monday as well. But first, I kind of wanted to do a little bit of haul with you guys before I start using um, some of the stickers that I got in this particular Black Friday orders. So I placed an order with Monarch Plans. I got <laughs> quite a bit. So. Um, Kristen is so sweet. I love that she writes little notes on her order, but yeah, that's pretty, uh, oh yeah, there's a whole second page. <laughs> anyway, let's go on. So, so she had a couple of freebies. I believe this one was just for like every order from Black Friday, and then there was another freebie um, if you spent over $25. This one's like really, really cute. Um, this would actually be great for the week view in the moxie life because it's just kind of got you know just a little bit of elements that you could use for the entire week but isn't necessarily a whole kit um i also picked up a couple of her moxie life weekly reflections kits she actually has them in the a5 size now i've been ordering them for quite some time but in the regular seven by nine size they can still work but obviously you get to use up the real estate on that page a little bit better since it is smaller with a smaller option. So I grabbed um, a couple of those just because I'm all set through the month of December. So these will take me into at least part of the way through January. And these are just so pretty. And her prices, you guys, are really, really good. So I definitely recommend this shop. Um, moving on, I actually focused primarily on my daily with things that I ordered from her. So I ordered quite a few of the daily kits. So I did get this one. These are um, for, they do say ECDD, so these are for the Erin Condren Daily Duo. But I have no doubt that they will work just fine with the A5 Moxie Life. So I grabbed this one right here. I'm not sure if they have names. Let me look at my receipt. And it's kind of hard to tell on the receipt because the pictures are a little bit small, but I think this is winter, soft winter, maybe. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Oh no, this one's soft winter. I'm not sure what this kit is, but they do have names on the um, on her Etsy shop. So there's that one. I also grabbed this kit right here. This one is definitely the soft winter one. Look how pretty that is. These are so freaking cute. I also grabbed this um, daily duo kit. Now, I don't intend to get this decorative every single time, but her sale was just amazing. I wanna say it was like 30% off maybe. Um, and then there's this one that I got. This is kind of like, it's got some glittery, like gold glitter in it. It's a whole lot of peach. I really didn't realize that until I ordered it. <laughs> but this almost looks a little bit like New Year's because those are like fireworks on those strips right there. And then I also got some of the, like just single sheets that just had the strips with the date covers, which I actually really like. And I actually think... Yep, I accidentally ordered like just two of these. So eh, what are you gonna do, right? I have extra covers. Um, and then I got this one in like this blue and yellow theme right here. I love the font that she uses for the days of the week. And I love that it's gray and not black. There's just something about that that I don't know. I really like, I find it appealing. I got this orange and blue set. Again, I'm sure that there are names for these, but I, yeah. Um, <laughs> Then this other one that's, I think it's from the Christmas, from her Christmas time themes. Got that one. And then this one, which I will actually be using for this week because I'm going to be using like the matching uh, weekly reflections for it that I already had. And then this set right here, I think I accidentally ordered two of these, but obviously this is geared more towards uh, Valentine's. Um, ordered this sheet, didn't realize it had like the pumpkins on it, but that's okay. I could definitely use the other um, days of the week or just save this for next fall. And then of course I got another Christmas themed one. So that is everything that I ordered from Monarch Plans from her Black Friday sale. Definitely, like I said, check out her shop. The quality is great. The stickers are repositionable. Um, they're matte. Some, it's just my favorite, but um, yeah, great shop. So there's that. So let's go ahead and start with 
grabbing these. I don't really have anything for this um, page right here, so I'm pretty much going to stick to a marker and a pen for this page. I do need a ruler because I do like to separate out my um, column, and I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna do with that here in a second. All right, so this is for the week of December 13th through December 19th. And I think the focus for this week is basically going to be um, wrapping gifts because I haven't wrapped a single thing. Um, <laughs> I actually put up a poll on my Instagram and asked if a lot of people already had their stuff done or if they do it like as it comes in the door. I'm just one of those people that every year I say I'm gonna do it as it's coming in the door, but I wait until the last minute. It's just uh, one of my toxic traits. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put a line right about, let's see if I can move this, trying to figure out exactly where I wanna put it, but I think what I wanna use this line for this week or this particular part of the column is both meals and weather so i'm going to use right under the like letter for the day there's a couple of dots there and that's what i'm going to use to help keep me um, lined up and i'm just going to do that for each day and the goal here is to do the weather and meals in this part of the planner i feel like i'm starting to get crooked <laughs> Even with a ruler, I can't, I can't do anything straight. All right, let's continue all the way down for the rest of the week. And then the way that I've been doing my date covers, like you can actually just write it in if you want to, or you can use date covers. For this page, I haven't really been doing that, but I've been taking the Zig Clean Color Dot, and the good thing about the dot markers is the harder you press, the bigger the circle gets. So I just make sure that I do a much like forced press on the page so that I can have a space for a bigger um, number so that I have my own <laughs> kind of date covers there. So I'm gonna write those in, so 13. All right, there you go. Super easy way to do it. And the good thing is, is that this marker comes in lots of different colors. I just prefer the gray or the platinum because it's neutral and it goes with everything. All right, so next up is where I'm gonna do the weather at the top here. Now this is where I am going to use stickers just because I kind of like how these are gonna look. This is sheet S1434 from Planner Kate. These icons, I love them because one, they're neutral and two, they are small enough to work in this space that I am working in. So we're gonna get started with this and I think how I'm gonna do it is just put the weather icon right in the middle and then put the weather on each side. So I've only gone all the way through Friday just because typically on like Thursday, I'll sit and like write in the weather for the rest of the week. All right, so meals, I'm gonna put that right below. It could be a little bit tight, but I'm just not gonna write like the entire thing. So if it's like chicken, I'll just write chicken. If it's taco night, I'll just write tacos and so on. All right, and then again, I always only just go through Friday because typically around Thursday or Friday, we will decide what the meals are for Saturday and Sunday. So those are in there. I love the way that that looks. And then for the rest of the week, I don't actually get too detailed here. So what I will do is at least put the videos that I have coming. And I actually have a sticker sheet that I use from... Uh, here are the rest of my <laughs> reflection stickers from Monarch Plans, but I love these little play buttons from Fern Creek um, stickers. I actually do have a coupon code for Fern Creek stickers. I'll put that down below. You get like a freebie, um, my freebie from that shop. So that's pretty cool. So I will put that stuff down and then any like big um, events or appointments. And we do have a few of those 
this week. So of course, Monday's video is this one that you're watching right here. And then Wednesday is a collab video and so is Friday. All right, and then Monday we have AC repair coming out. Fun times. Luckily, we are one of those people that has two units, but I swear every time there's a huge shift in temperature, one of them starts acting up. So we do have to deal with that. And then on Tuesday, both Nathan and I have dentist appointments. And then on Thursday, that is payday. Definitely a monumentous event. <laughs> Okay, so as of right now, that is everything for my weekly view. Let's jump over to the daily. So one of the things that I do love about sheets like this, and especially in an undated planner, is that you can just go ahead and date your entire uh, week. So what I think I'm gonna do, because Monday, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, these will be together, so I kind of want them to match. Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday. So since Monday is over here all by itself and it doesn't need a matching page side by side, if that makes sense, <laughs> um, that's what we're going to do. And I feel like, let's see, kind of have to change the position of where I am with this book. I want to get it lined up evenly. And these are the... Um, daily duo sheets so they actually work perfectly in here which is awesome so i'm just going to do monday and that's going to be the 13th oh my god this is perfect i already know that i'm going to be down a huge rabbit hole with this shop and my daily this is perfect all right so Let's go ahead and do the rest of the days. And again, this is what I love about sheets like this, or even if you're just using like your leftover washi sheets from your kits, just go ahead and do the whole week so that it makes it a little less stressful for you. And if you're having to pop in an appointment or something like that, um, it's easy, you know, you don't really have to think too much. Um, and what I was just realizing is the size of her date covers are like, perfect to use over here. Now, obviously I don't have doubles, but now I need to go back and look at her shop and see if that's something that I can, that I can order. I'm sure she has it already. And I just didn't realize it when I placed my order with her. Oh my God. I love these. I love that. I don't have to cut anything. It's absolutely perfect. <laughs> All right. So that was Tuesday. Let's do Wednesday. These are so freaking cute. Wednesday's the 15th. I cannot believe how close we are to Christmas. Like, I feel really unprepared this year. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, and it's probably because our kids are older, so I don't have to do as much, like, prep ahead, you know? I don't know. I don't really know what it is, but, um, yeah, definitely feels different. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be ordering a lot more of these, as though I just didn't already order. <laughs> more of these. It's just nice to see that there are shops that offer the um, daily duo kits that can also be used for this planner. It's just great. It's the little things that keep me so excited. <laughs> All right, so that was Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday are next. And I realize you don't have to have the pages match side by side like this. Like you, you do you. But I think for this first try, I think I'm going to have them match side by side. I just like that look, you know? Um, that is not perfectly lined up. Let's see if I can't move this down just a little bit. I don't know if that's any better. Now, I know someone is gonna ask, like, has it created a bump? Like, I haven't used date covers every single day, but I do kind of feel it on this page. Like, when I was pressing that down, I could kind of feel that. Um, there on that. So something to think about. I wouldn't necessarily use headers every single week. Um, I want to look in her shop too and see if I can just get the days and the numbers. That would be, that would be perfect for me. But I also like the way she lines up her pages or the way all the stickers are laid out on her pages. Like she uses all of this space really, really well. All right, there's Sunday the 19th and we are done with all of that part. So let's go back to Monday and 
I don't really know that I'm gonna use too many stickers on this particular day, but let's get started with the planning part. So I always like start with my top three area. What I did grab though is some of these day, uh, event labels for the A5 size from Planner Kate. This is actually like a leftover sheet from a monthly set, I believe. And I think what I'm gonna incorporate is some of these green, sort of green and mint colors right here, just because that'll all kind of go together. I have this weekly reflection sheet that I'm kind of looking over at and seeing like which ones would match. Um, but I think that that's what I'm going to use. Let's try some of these lighter ones. And I can use those as headers. They're smaller, so they can fit in these like tighter um, areas within within the planner without like really affecting anything else, if that makes sense. It's kind of right up against that first to-do, but I think that that's gonna be okay. And then let's try some pink ones because I need to label this area and then one more for where I put my content stuff. All right, and then I'm gonna label all of that. I probably should have put the pink first and then <laughs> it's, it's fine. All right, let's do top three. Now I realized too by putting the date cover that it covers up that um, area of focus. See right here where it has the focus area. I don't feel like I necessarily always need to write that so I'm okay with it being covered up. And then over here we're gonna do today and then to do's over on this side and then content over here. Okay, so top three is going to be medication and vitamins for me. And then I've been putting um, Brody's medication on here simply because, whoops, um, he's got an ear issue once again and we're having to put drops in his ears. So I have to remember to do that every morning. Um, today I just realized I didn't give it to him last night so I had to do it this morning. Ugh, I'm sure he's... <laughs> over it already. All right, so I'm going to put in the times with the 0.5 size of the Zig Clean Color Dot. So it does come with a dot side and then the other side, which is more like just a regular um, pen. So Monday through Friday, I typically start my day at six and then on the weekends, I typically start it at eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and write these in. All right, those are in, you can kind of see that, but there you go. I like writing them in in gray because it just looks a little bit more clean on the page. So let's start with our schedule. We're gonna do AM routine first, and then I'm gonna outline an area for work and get that put in there. And that's gonna go all the way down to four o'clock. And speaking of rulers, I have been using like either the plum paper ruler or this Erin Condren ruler. The plum paper ruler is a little bit more slick and for some reason it's not within arm's reach of me. So I've just been using this EC one, but I'm, I need to figure out another solution because this is obviously for like a seven by nine planner. And the plum paper one's like okay, but it's not my favorite. <laughs> but I always like having a ruler with, um, with my planner. So there is that. I'm almost tempted to, let's see, I gotta get a work sticker. And typically I use the one from Chrissy and Designs. I think I'm gonna incorporate a pink one this time and I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. I typically don't put like a whole lot of details about my work day in, um, in my daily. It's just not what I do. <laughs> All right, so let's see, tomorrow's the 13th and we're gonna focus on budget and paying bills because I like to make sure that we pay the mid-month stuff a little bit early. There's that. And then we're going to run the Roomba, move on to like other cleaning things. And I'm just going to put wash towels because I haven't started that today when I'm filming this on a Sunday. So I'm just thinking they may just get done on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> not on Sunday. Uh, what else? That's all I can think of for just other chores. Obviously, there's a lot of space for more things to happen there. For content, it is going to be sharing this plan with me, going over any emails, cleaning those out, because it has been a hot mess, going through comments and messages. I got a doozy of a message last week. <laughs> um, 
I don't even know. I, I, I was like, do I even bring this up? You guys know I always have some sort of chat. So if you stuck around this long for the video, congratulations. So last week I got an interesting message from someone um, who happens to be a squad member of a planner company. You know, they all refer to their peoples as the squad, whatever. Um, and this person was like, you know, felt the need to tell me how they felt about me, which is fine. Everyone has an opinion, right? <laughs> but it was more or less the tone of, I no longer find you inspirational because I see that you purchase things, but you don't disclose when you purchase things was essentially the, like the root of why they think I'm a horrible human, right? So <laughs> let's just rip the Band-Aid off, right? You know, they had brought up the fact that um, I had stopped using Erin Condren products. You guys know I've been completely transparent about that. Um, I had stopped being like a marketing machine for them, essentially, and just chose to just be a customer, right? I'll buy when I want to buy. I just, I don't do launches. I don't do any of that type of thing. And, um, they seem to be okay with that, but then pointed out specific days of when I posted reels or they'd see like an easy product, but had no idea of its exact date of purchase um, or when I acquired the item and felt that I needed to disclose all of that. And because I hadn't, I was no longer an inspirational human being in the world of social media. <laughs> I, I didn't even really know what to do with that because I was like, so you're mad because I didn't send you like an Excel spreadsheet of when and if I buy things. Um, and I also felt like it was like, I don't know where this is coming from because you're on their squad. So why does what I purchase, which has nothing to do with being on the squad, why does that matter? <laughs> why? I've never told anyone not to purchase things from them. You should absolutely buy whatever makes you happy. Um, I just, I chose to take my break in, in my own way, but people still to this day feel the need to tell me just how much it bothers them. They're extremely bothered. Um, she was, she was five paragraphs of bothered. And I, I, I honestly was like in shock. I was like, is this, am I being punked? And I, I was not, and that's fine. So why am I talking about this now? One, because I want to. Um, <laughs> and two, because I, I want to share the message with people that for the longest time, either my friends or people would tell me, when you receive those messages, just ignore them and block them. Just ignore them and block them. And I have finally just like had enough of that. They, they don't, they, those types of messages should not be ignored. Um, would I ever put the person on blast? Absolutely not. You know why? Because one, I don't want them to be bullied. I don't want them to go through the same crap that I've been through. Um, and I, I think that they should remain anonymous. Absolutely. Thousand percent. Um, but here is my message to you. When you receive a message like that, you are a thousand percent entitled to let someone know when they have crossed a boundary um, and that they cannot tell you what to do. Absolutely not. They don't like your content. They don't like you as a person. That's totally fine. Not everyone's going to like you. But to tell you that you're a bad person or um, so uninspirational because you don't provide a receipt publicly for every single purchase that you make, you, you should stand up for yourself. Absolutely stand up for yourself and tell them how inappropriate that they said those things was just not cool. So I, I would never tell someone, ignore and block. No, some people need to be reminded that just because they have an opinion doesn't mean it needs to be vocalized um, and that it's rude. So when someone sends you a message like that, say your piece and move on. Then, then you can block them. <laughs> All right, there's my rant. There's my story time. <laughs> All right, moving on. One more thing. See, y'all know I'm never done. So I was watching another YouTuber talk about how, and I'm only assuming that they were talking about much larger accounts, right? Because I have a tiny account in comparison to the accounts that this person was addressing. And they were like, if you're on social media and someone gives you feedback, <laughs> you have no choice but to take it. And I was like, I kind of disagree with that. Like being on social media should not automatically make you a target for, 
you know, shitty people. Like, that's just being a shitty person. You know what I mean? That's not giving an opinion or giving feedback. If you say, hey, Julie, I watched your latest video and I just want to tell you that the lighting was a little bit off, that, my friend, is feedback. But if you're like, hey, Julie, I watched your latest video and your voice is, it just bothers me so damn much and I just wish you would change the sound of your voice, that's that's not exactly feedback. That's just being an asshole. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so what have I been doing with the bottom of this planner? Lord only knows. Okay, so what I started doing was writing my steps, my water, and my sleep. Has this been completely effective? Eh, verdict is still out on that. I might change it. So let's do, what did, what did I just say? <laughs> steps. Steps. Aren't you guys glad that you made it to this part of the video? It's like the gift that keeps on giving. I was actually, as I was talking earlier, thinking, do I talk about this topic? Do I not talk about this topic? And then I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm, I'm going to talk about it because... I think it needs to be talked about, right? Like people just feel so empowered behind a keyboard to say stuff just because they can say it and they can walk away, right? They've said their piece and then the person on the receiving end is just like, <laughs> I, you know, it's just, it's a little bit one-sided. So that's where I'm at with all of that. So there is my Monday. I am resisting the urge. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not resisting anything. We're going to put this sticker <laughs> down because I think it matches perfectly. You can't really tell if the rest of the week is a Christmas week, so that's how we're gonna roll. I'm just gonna use this sticker strip from this uh, sheet right here. I believe that these are still available. This is just like her non-holiday um, specific like monthly kit that you can get from Planner Kate. So this is sheet um, MNTH, so for month, 131B. Um, I'm definitely going to hang on to these because I think that they're great for the A5. All right, guys, so that is it for this week's plan with me or this week and a day <laughs> plan with me. I'm going to throw in some gratitude or a quote down here on Monday, whatever I see uh, fit. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are already subscribed, first of all, thank you very much. But make sure that you click that red notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.